Hello everybody, welcome to yet another edition of the program, The Love Clinic. If remember, we are in season one, which is Reasons for Domestic Violence and Passionate Crime, and we are in episode two. Today, we are talking about self-esteem. You know, when we talk about self-esteem, we talk about self-confidence, how much you trust yourself, what amount of confidence you have for yourself. You know, self-esteem is regarded as a kind of feeling we have for ourselves. The kind of feeling. What do you feel about yourself? Do you feel some high esteem for yourself? Do you feel very low? These are the things we are going to be talking about today. It can either be great confidence or non-confidence at all. You know what I'm talking about. Now, low self-esteem, therefore, is a situation where someone feels little or no confidence in themselves at all that's low self-esteem and that's what we shall be talking about this is what really made us to talk about this topic today you know i've had a lot of calls from friends who who wanted to who wanted me to treat this topic today in the last episode we had somebody all the way from the united states who took part in the program who contributed in the program and uh, you know, we, we, we had a lot of positive uh, reactions from our viewers out there who, who really appreciated what she did and they asked me to bring her again. So we have decided to bring her again in this second edition of the program. Let us welcome Marta Pono in today's edition as she gives her contribution to this edition on self-esteem. Hello Marta, you are welcome to today's edition of the program. Today we are talking about self-esteem and uh, we brought you because we know you have a great understanding on this topic. Please give us your contribution. Thank you for giving me another opportunity to talk. Since today we are going about self-esteem, self-esteem means confidence in one's own worth or abilities. It also means self-respect, a person's overall sense of self-worth, personal value. In other words, how much you appreciate yourself and you like yourself. Now, as we continue to talk about self-esteem, I want to say why self-esteem is important. Why should I have confidence in myself? Having confidence in myself influences people's choices, influences my choices and decisions. In other words, self-esteem serves as a motivational function by making it more or less likely that people would take care of themselves and explore their full potential. Some signs of self-esteem. We invite intimacy. We actively seek work that we enjoy. We value honesty in self and others. We accept responsibility for quality of our lives. We care about our physical self-destructive behaviors and we take calculated risks how do I build my self-esteem I build my self-esteem by using positive affirmation correctly I identify my competencies and I develop them I learn to accept compliments from people and I compliment people I eliminate negative self-criticism and I introduce self-compassion and I affirm my real worth. I equally visualize myself as what I want to be. And I set myself up to win. Help other people too. I take care of myself and I take charge of my feelings and I start overcoming obstacles. Now, there are pillars of self-esteem and these pillars would include the practice of living consciously. I am conscious of my environment. I am conscious of what people tell me. I am conscious of the people who live with me. The next pillar is the practice of self-acceptance. I accept myself who I am and what I am. The third one is self-responsibility. I am responsible for everything I do. I am responsible for my actions. I am responsible for my words. The next one is self-assertiveness. And the practice of living 
purposefully what is the purpose for which I am living. What is my aim? What is my goal? What is my objective? The purposeful living. And another pillar is personal, the practice of personal integrity. Now let us look a bit at what the Bible tells us about self-esteem. The Bible defines self-esteem as having confidence that I am who God says I am. But the one thing I want to say here is that self-esteem or self-confidence is built on trust. Do I trust myself? Am I honest with myself? If I am honest with myself, if I trust myself, then I am able to build self-confidence. I am able to be confident about myself. I am able to build self-worth. And this can only go on this. I can have real self-esteem. I can have full confidence in myself if I depend on the Creator. If I learn, when I stop learning, when I stop seeking for knowledge, my self-esteem goes gradually goes down. And above all, self-esteem is either high or low, depending on who or what I am. But for me, I'll talk about high self-esteem. I, I have a lot of confidence in myself. I have a lot of trust in myself. I am very honest with myself. Now nothing will bring my self-confidence down because I depend on God and only God alone can give me the kind of confidence I have in myself. We can continue and we can go on and on and on, Elvis. For now, I'll stop there. And I wish other contributions will come from another place, from other people, and then you'll beef it up. This has been Martha Pono from my humble home in the U.S. Wishing you a wonderful day. God bless. Thank you. Till some other time. God bless you, Martha Bono. Thanks very much for that outstanding contribution to the program. It is oh, it is wonderful. Thanks very much. You followed you followed Martha Bono for, for for that contribution. I think she did an excellent job. Once more, thanks Martha Bono for being there and thanks for coming and thanks for answering, you know, to our call. Let us continue. Now let us see how to increase your self-esteem how to increase your self-esteem the first thing you the first thing the first point that i want us to look at is challenge the bad feelings about yourself <laughs> you know there are times when you start having some bad feelings about yourself that's what you need to challenge let's read it from here when you realize that you start having bad feelings about yourself the first thing you need to do is identify that that bad feeling and challenge it when you realize that you start having bad feelings about yourself, identify it and challenge it. There are times when you might be walking on the road and maybe you want to pass across maybe a place where some people are sitting. This one is it's mostly common with ladies. You know, some thoughts will start coming into your mind. Oh, I am not well dressed. Uh, maybe I'm not walking straight. Maybe my uh, uh, my my body. Uh, maybe I'm fat. Maybe I'm short. Maybe I'm this. You are not, my dear. You are who you are because you are. You are supposed to be you. Hey, come on! Don't fall for that. That's what you need to challenge. Tell yourself, I am not what I think. I am who I am, and I am beautiful for myself. You get it? Don't ever accept that feeling to challenge because once that feeling takes over you. I bet you, you are going to have a lot of problems for yourself because you cannot challenge that, that feeling. So, you need to always, when that bad feeling starts coming, try as much as possible to challenge it. Give it, give it a try and say, okay. For instance, you can, you can, you can tell yourself, you, that feeling of, I am short, might start coming to you. And you tell yourself, oh, I am not short. If I am short, it means I am supposed to be short then I should be comfortable with myself. I should be happy for myself. You get what I'm saying? That's what you have, to, you have to do. Second point is take care of yourself. 
this is one thing, and this is one of the, 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 the greatest reasons we start having low self-esteem about ourselves. This, this, these are reasons why we start having low self-esteem. You know, one of the easiest ways to get yourself off the hook of low esteem is by taking good care of yourself. Always make sure you shower twice a day, get yourself some nice body lotion, good body spray that will make you smell nice. Get yourself some good body lotion and some nice body spray that will make you smell nice. You feel good about yourself. You know, then always put out some outfits that will make you feel good about yourself. Remember, you have to take care of yourself. So, those things you need to do. Go for go, go to physical ex exercises. Get up, bed twice a day. Take, take a shower twice a day. Shower twice a day. Get yourself some nice body lotion. Get yourself some body, good body spray. And always make sure you put the outfit that will make you feel good about yourself. I, I tell you, when you feel good about yourself, even those bad feelings might not come. Because just, just the fact that you feel good about yourself, you know what I'm saying? Just the fact that you feel good about yourself, those feelings feel challenged automatically. So, taking care of yourself is one of, one of the greatest ways to fight low self-esteem. You see what I'm saying? The third one is surround yourself with people who make you feel good. Surround yourself with people who, make you, who appreciate you and make you feel good about yourself. You start identifying people who appreciate you. You, you start making friends with people who, who make you feel good about yourself. They appreciate you. You, you can be as fat as the fattest, but if people appreciate you, you will never have low self-esteem about yourself. You see what I'm saying? So, on the note shared, identify those people, surround yourself with people who appreciate you for who you are and make you feel good about yourself. A lot of people will run you down. A lot of people will say some bad compliments about you. That's just to make you feel bad about yourself. Moreover, if you listen to those people, you are simply, you know, getting yourself into the hook of low self-esteem because those bad feelings will come and eventually you have you start having low, low uh, self-esteem about yourself and you know what, you know what, with, with the outcome, it will even affect your relationship. It, it will even affect your personal well-being. You realize that you never like to hang out with people, you never like to be with people because already you're already challenging yourself, you already have that challenge in yourself that I am not worth being with these people, I am not I'm not comfortable in myself. You see what I'm saying? So always try to identify those people who like you, who appreciate you, and who love for who you are, and they, you know they compliment you and they make you feel good about yourself. It is very, very important. If people don't appreciate you, don't hang out with them. You are not a blush. If you, if, 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 you know, if those people, those people who are, you know, they are your friends. If they cannot compliment you, they cannot make you feel good about yourself, don't hang out with them. Even if it's your brother or your sister, whoever, if they, are, if they don't make you feel good about yourself, they, they, they try to run you down, keep away from them. It's very, it's obvious. Because once you are affected by low self-esteem, it's going to affect you, it's going to affect your relationship. And I bet you, you might not, you might not be able to keep a relationship for a very long time. The fourth point that I want us to look at is accept yourself. Self-acceptance. If you cannot appreciate yourself, nobody will appreciate you. Hello? Are we together? If you cannot appreciate yourself, if, if you cannot tell yourself I'm beautiful, nobody will appreciate you. Let me tell you something. Who you are is God's gift to you. But what you make of yourself is your gift to God. Are we together? Who you are is God's gift to you. What do I mean by this? Take for instance, if somebody offers you something, like, let's say a car, right? A car is being offered to you. The person is watching, is looking at you. The gift you give back to this person, remember, love is reciprocal. So, what you give back to this person is how valuable, is how worth, is how loving you, 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 tra you treasure that thing that the person gave you. Okay, the person gave you a car. The person will be so happy to realize that you are using this car so jealously. So passionately you, ha you handle this car. 
The person will be even glad to give you more cars. It's the same like a mobile phone, like any other thing. You know, whatever. Once you, you, you take good care of that thing, the person will be, will be happy to give you even more of those things, even better, better ones. It's the same thing. Who you are is God's gift to you. And what you make of yourself is your gift to God. You see what I'm saying? So, you are not ugly until you tell yourself, I am ugly. <laughs> you are not ugly until you tell yourself, I'm ugly. And until you tell yourself, I'm ugly, that's when people start seeing the ugliness in you. Hello? <laughs> Did you get what I'm saying? You are not ugly until you let people know that you are ugly. And how do you let people know? You know, a human being is from inside out. That's to say, the inner self controls the outer self. The inner self is just, the, the, your outer self is just a reflection of your inner, of your inner, inner person. So in reality, you are, your, your physical self is just a reflection of what you are internally. You, you see what I'm saying? So, if already internally you start feeling, you start telling yourself, I am ugly, all right? Automatically, it will project on the outside and eventually, people will see that you are ugly because you are simply showing them that you are ugly. That's, that's, that's just the reality. You are not short until you tell yourself, I am short. You are not short until you tell yourself, I am short. You are not fat until you tell yourself, I am fat. <laughs> you see, nobody is fat. Nobody is thin. You are who you are because you are supposed to be you. Not, not until you tell somebody, until you let somebody know that I am not comfortable being myself. They will never notice it. You know, I have this motivational speaker that I appreciate so much. I love this girl. I really, really appreciate her. She she runs a show they call um, I think Love Love and some something talk show. You know, I really like the way she appreciates herself. She 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 feels so good about herself. You you, you see what I'm saying? You cannot run her down. You cannot say bad things about her and she feels bad. Because she appreciates herself. That's what you have to do. You are not fat until you, you, until you, you tell yourself that I am fat. And from there, people start saying that you are fat. It's as simple as that. So what you have to do, appreciate yourself. Accept yourself. I am who I am because I am supposed to be me. Then love yourself. Nobody will love you until you start loving yourself. You cannot love somebody until you start loving yourself first. So this is just a reality. You know, I, I had a friend, a friend on Facebook, that's a very, a very close friend of mine, who, who made a post and uh, as beautiful as she was in her outfit, you know, I know it's a prank, it's just a joke because I know she's beautiful. Then she wrote under that, uh, people say I resemble this artist. I wrote and said, you don't resemble that artist, you resemble you. She was like, like seriously? I said, yes, you resemble you. You know, at times we, we might want to, we might want to resemble somebody, we might want to look like somebody. We might, you are not you, you can never be that person. Dress like the person, speak like the person, do everything like the person, you are not the person. It's as simple as that. So the only thing is, be yourself, love yourself, be comfortable about yourself, and people will love you for who you are. If you tell yourself you're, you're ugly, of course, you are simply telling the world that you're ugly because it will, it will, it will, it will project from, from your inside out. People will see that you're ugly from, from inside. You see what I'm saying? So that is it. Thanks very much, ladies and gentlemen, for being part of today's edition of the show. I am so, so, so grateful Thanks very much for being there. Thanks for following the show till the end. We have come to the end. And please let me do this announcement. On the 25th, by the 25th or 26th, 
one of those dates, I will, I will make a poster. We'll be having a before marriage and during marriage workshop. You have to learn these things. This workshop is meant for everybody. Be you in a relationship, be you want to get married, be you a mar be you in a couple, be, in a, be, be you in a courtship. You have to learn these things. It's very, very, very important. It is just $50. The registration is just $50. I, I urge you to take part in this workshop. It's gonna be in Zoom. Wherever you are, wherever you're watching, you can take part in it. You just register, you, you contact me on this WhatsApp, on this WhatsApp number. I don't know if this way or this way. I don't know. So what happens is you contact us, my team, they'll send you a form. They'll give you a form that you fill, your location, everything. Then you pay the we'll we'll, we'll give our uh, uh, what with PayPal, okay, there will be a PayPal account where you can you can deposit. It's fifty dollars. We want to make it very easy for everybody to participate because our goal here is not because we want to make money from this, but you know we have to take care of logistics and one other, one or two things. So it's because we want to sensitize you people, we want to educate the public. This workshop is going to make take two days, two days workshop. So we are going, we are going to introduce before marriage. Then the second day will be during marriage. Or before relationship, let me put it this way, before you, before you start a relationship or while you are in a relationship. So that's how the workshop is going to look like. I'm going to do a video for that, a very short video for that. However, thanks very much for being there. Thank you very much. And let's take around the for next episode. I love you all and uh, you are close to my heart. Remember, I always love you. Peace.